Hey guys, Super Guys Guy here. Today I'll be doing a review video of the Lenovo T430. Here it is. Um, this is a replacement of the old T420. Um, gone is the old ThinkPad classic style keyboard. It's a more sort of curved on the bottom chiclet style keyboard. And um, so here it is. And uh, this is the Core i5 version and has 4 gig of RAM with a 320 gigabyte um, 7200 RPM hard drive. And this uses the the light, think light on top, and it has the same standard latch with a magnesium body. So everything else is pretty much the standard ThinkPad. Um, so for those of you who used ThinkPad before, um, the only thing I want to consider is the keyboard. Um, it's a little bit different. It takes some time to get used to. As you can see, it has the uh, delete and backspace right here, and the think button is no longer blue, and it has the the eraser track point and trackpad. It's a standard. It has a fingerprint reader. Um, I still, even though the shape takes some time to get used to with the keyboard, you, you miss a key or something. Um, general, this is like one of the best laptop keyboard that you can find. Um, second best to this, I think, is the Apple keyboard. Other than that, um, I don't want to talk about anything else um, if I don't have access to a desktop mechanical keyboard. Again, the body is really rigid and almost no key flex uh, to this point. And it has the same old latch style. Um, and this has a 6 cell battery, as you can see, it's removable. And this particular model actually have a built-in um, wine card, so you can insert a access card, full size, uh, into it to use it. Um, memory upgrade right here, and the optical drive is also removable. Uh, let's see if I can get this out to show you. And Once it's removed, you can swap it with a bay battery. That will give you a few more hours of uh, battery life. A couple hours added to it. Um, I find the battery life to be acceptable. Uh, since I do not like the X220 or 230 6 cell, has a little sort of bump, sticks out. This stays flush, so the 6 cell like this, I can get about four and a half, five hours of you know decent brightness uh, usage out of this. And uh, let's look at the ports. Uh, on this side, if you, of course, you have the optical bay, and you have a express card. I don't know if anybody ever used this. Um, at least I don't. And you have the SD card. You have a USB port right here. Does not look to be a 2.0, but the standard one. Um, the Kensington security lock. The USB power port. So this port remains powered even though the computer shut off. You have the Ethernet, power charger, VGA, USB 3.0, two of them, and a display port. So even though with all this, you still have a VGA port. So pretty much covered because you can get adapter for the digital output from display port into DVI or HDMI or display port. And um, of course, there's a slot for the docking station. So overall, this is a very solid uh, ThinkPad. You know, pretty heavy too. This is like five and a half pounds. Definitely in the weight range of a MacBook Pro. And if I have to use a PC laptop, um, ThinkPad is definitely the choice. Uh, this comes with a single slot, four gigabyte, and it has another open slot. You can do a maximum of 16 gigabytes, I believe. So two eight gigabyte slot, you can do it. And there's also a contact point for a slice battery. I did not get this uh, with a slice battery. So, so this is definitely a good choice to consider. And to just give you another ThinkPad family to compare, this is the little brother. Um, this is a T430S. S stands for slim. Um, as you can see, there's the S right here. Same exact keyboard layout, key layout, screen resolution, everything. It's the same. This one, this model does not have a USB fingerprint reader. One thing you would notice right away is the weight of the S. It's about a pound and a half lighter. Almost feel like two pounds, just to give that. And um, 
case of the S is actually uh, carbon fiber based. So this is not just a comparison. This is a comparison and review. Everything else is identical, as you can see. Let me just show you. Except for the thickness and the overall weight of it. Um, the T430S. Let's do a walk around of the port. So you have a USB 3.0 port, the headphone, that's the SD card, no express card, but you have a optical bay. That's also removable, removed the same way as the 430. As you can see, you can also swap out with the bay battery. And the charger is exactly identical to the 430. So so this gives a, a, a people a lot of choices, right? So for a company who wants to buy a sort of workhorse, you know, almost virtually indestructible laptop for every single employee at the company, they can go with the 430 model. And for the salespeople or, you know, some of the mid-level executives that need to do some moderate travel, they can definitely go for the 430S because all the accessories are totally compatible and this has the same dock port. So, and the same charger will use, so to make the deployment process a lot easier. Same processor, same sort of memory configuration, it's just a lot lighter. And you look at paying about 20, 25, 30% premium, depends on the configuration, of course. Let's finish your port. Ethernet, USB 3.0, display port, USB power port, VGA, still sneaking the VGA, and USB 3.0 port, and back to the front. And this one, um, even though I say everything is, is exactly the same as the 430, the battery is not. Um, so the hard drive is up front, just like that one, and the memory slot, same thing, two slots. This is a four gigabyte version, you can swap it, upgrade it to 16 gigabyte. This one, however, has a sort of different battery layout. Let me see. So the battery up is up front. Um, I believe this is a four cell. Maybe it's a six. I'm not so sure about this one. Um, this is a standard battery. Um, battery life, however, identical. Identical. For my personal use, it's just like I couldn't tell the difference between the 430s or the 430. It is, this one also have the same sort of think light on top and um, so there you have it this is the basic comparison and review of the 430 versus the 430s in my opinion both are wonderful machines they do a fantastic job the keyboard is just so pleasant to type, type on even though the key style changed a little bit but you know it takes maybe a week max to get used to it but overall very solid machine if you look to buy it for your personal use or you see somebody going to school um, if you travel a lot and you have the budget, get the 430S. And if you don't travel a lot, you basically use it as a workstation-ish laptop. You know, they all support docking station. Get the 430, save some money, put it toward an SSD, and your performance will be off the chart. And for those of you who have extra budget, um, another one you might want to consider is the X1 Carbon. Um, just to put all three together. Of course, this is not in the same league as the other two. This is more of a 13-inch um, Ultrabook business type sort of thing. Um, just to give you a side comparison, um, the 430, 430S, and the X1 Carbon. And the weight-wise, the X1 Carbon is uh, maybe another pound lighter than the 430S. Of course, this has no optical drive, SSD only, no removal battery. I will do this in a separate video. Uh, but aside from that, let me turn it off. Um, same chiclet style keyboard, except for the instead of using ThinkLight, it's uh, backlit. But I'll do this in a separate video. Uh, So there you have it. This is a quick review and comparison video of the Lenovo ThinkPad 430 versus the 430S. And thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, please post in the comment section. And thank you.